Good morning! Today our goal is to use simple harmonic motion to determine the spring constant for the spring. As you can see, the mass and the spring is oscillating up and down, and this motion is called simple harmonic motion. To do this, we'll need to record the time for a single cycle. So the question is, what is a cycle? So a cycle is a repetition in motion. So one cycle would be the movement of these weights from this point all the way up and then back down. That would be one cycle. Notice in the video, it goes from a regular video to slow motion. When it's in slow motion, the time has increased by a factor of eight. So the motion is being slowed down by a factor of eight. So let's start counting cycles now. When it comes back down, that's one cycle. Back down, two cycles. Three cycles. Four cycles. That's four repetitions of motion. Five cycles. Six cycles. Hopefully you get the idea of counting a cycle. So when the weights go up and then back down, that's a full cycle. All right, take out your stopwatch and get ready. We're going to record the time for five cycles. So I would start right now. That's one cycle. Two cycles. Four cycles. Get ready to stop that stopwatch. Five cycles. So I'd like you to complete this table. Notice I'm asking you to do four trials. And finally, here are some equations that will assist you with getting the spring constant. Notice the eight. To convert the slow motion time into just regular time, you have to divide by eight because the video increases time by a factor of eight when recording in slow motion. That's standard for most personal electronic devices that are not tablets, but phones. It's usually a factor of eight, the conversion. Tablets, on the other hand, sometimes it's only a factor of four, but today it's a factor of eight. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Have a great day. Bye-bye.